Okay, um, so I posted a picture earlier, I think days or two days ago, and then people asking me about it, so I decided to make a video from scratch, how I did it from the beginning with Photoshop and Alien Skins Exposure X2, as well as Alien Skins Network. So, um, actually I did that one, that's the pictures, but I decided, you know what, why not just go up. So I'm doing this one this time, let's open it from raw pictures. Now this picture is actually shot with um, Sony NEX is way back so you can tell the quality is not there. See? But that's okay. We're doing digital photo sprays around it. Yeah, you know me well that I'm not the type of guy that like to do get it well in the camera because there's more longer row behind digital than just getting ready camera. So okay, so here we go. Uh mumbo jumbo. You can look at this. Make sure. Okay, there's no highlight. Everything's even, it's good. Because when you hit those two buttons, here's the highlight. Here's the shadow clipping. I mean sorry, this is the highlight clipping. This is the shadow clipping, so we could tell that there's nothing pitch black or overexposed. Which is good. So we can play around with it a little bit, make sure that you feel right about it. There's really no perfect exposure, perfect highlight or whatnot. It's only about do you like it or not. So I'm going to remove the noise from here. Okay, good. Sharpness. And if you look at all my previous video, you talk about the noise removal and all that. So. I just have to get it as close as I can. And here, I'm gonna fix the skin a little bit with the orange. Okay, yellow, I'm gonna minus that a little bit. I don't know what happened if I do the haze. Nope, don't like it. Let's try it. Let's trigger the picture a little bit. Okay, just that bit. Okay, we could begin from there. So let's open in Photoshop now. Photoshop. Now mind that I totally forgot how I did my picture last time. This is how I am. Like I never remember what I did. And everything's new to me. So in a way, everything I do is new. Alright, so let's look at this. Uh I'm gonna crop. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna crop it. Okay, let's do something interesting. So I hide my action created, which is for skin retouching. It's on my other video, you can check it out. Um, it's a technique by a million actions. So what it does for something like this, like even though there's no real skin texture, what this would does for me is even on the skin a bit by painting white on it. So let us see how skin is actually. So I applied this. See, this is how I applied it. It's the quick mask mode. Why am I talking so fast? It's not like I'm teaching a two hour class and I rush out and get information now in two hours. I got all the time I need. I'm at home. I'm doing a video. Crap. I'm going to talk slowly now. See how I'm talking slow now. So you see how I'm even out all the edges using this. I just have to look at it. Because we are I am not treating it as a photograph. This is not gonna be just like a photograph, it's gonna be something else. I don't need tap shock. Okay, so that's just for performance sake, I'm gonna you know fan it that. Alright, okay. Um now I've been teaching a lot of classes and show people how to use curve, okay. Uh, there's a lot of ways to use it. It's quite powerful. Uh, you know, you can do this, with the hand, and go in that specific area and get exposure about that. Or, you know, different things. But, so I've been playing around with this pumpkin car to show you. Exposure X2. Oops, that's my previous one. You're not supposed to see that. So let me. All right. So what I find out about this is 
quite cool. Let's go into the tone curve, okay? I kind of like how they treat this curve into it's almost the same as Photoshop, except one part is that now we can separate, say, for let's go with RGB first, and for, we could just fix the contrast. See how the curve is moving by basically adjusting the contrast as well, and then we can also go to the curve and do a shadow, which is the dark area, and then mid tone. Instead of curve, just move by just according to the mid tone as well as highlight. I don't see much that I do, but it's there. Okay, that is just RGB. Now, what happened if we go wet? I need less content. Well, let's do this. So, by playing with this, this is way more powerful than the Lightroom Speed Tone. Like, you got two colors to play with. Here, I got RGB. In RGB, I could play with the contrast, shadow, mid tones, and highlight. See? So, now people I will ask me, how do you know what's right? Well, to be honest, you need to play around and practice. And also, everybody has a different preference of colors. You know, there's no absolute perfect colors. Are you kidding me? If someone told me that's the best color in the world, I mean, that guy's joking around. Ain't true. Okay. Let's go do like that. Let's go back to red a bit. Enhance and shadow. No, sorry. Let me shut I mean, I should be tones. Contrast a bit. To create that tone, you see how what I did here? Original pictures. Get a little bit blue tones ish into it. Quite not done yet. Just a bit. Give it more depth. Some color back in, alright. And then go into color. Let me play with the red a little bit. Just get it more in there. Yellow. Good. Green. I don't like too much green, so let's minus that. As cyan is close to green, so let's minus that a bit. Okay, see so what we got here. Okay, it's closer to what I expected. Alright. Still not quite done yet. I mean, if it's that easy, then everybody can do it, right? Ooh, that's too much. What's that? Still curvy, right? But exactly that's how I wanted it. Let's just apply. So I got this. Alright. Now I'm not quite done yet. So I'm going to create another one here and also go into snap art. Now what I love about snap art is that we have a very background. And you can see this shot from my um non full frame camera, so I don't get the sharpness, but that's okay because I'm not looking at the person right now, I'm looking at the back of it. So what it does for me is you suppose see how those muddy noisy edges I'm going to rearrange it to be like a painting it. background. See that? See those backgrounds? Right? So, by adjusting the brush size and thickness, link, I can also, I could highlight. So the highlight. You see those highlight? I don't need too much of it. Because I just need it to reconstruct the pixel for me. Did I just say reconstruct? Yes, I did say that. Reconstruct the pixel for me. So, let me make sure that's transparent. And brush the more, go back to view, look at overall. That's too warm. Go a bit cooler. Saturation less. Okay, that would do. That would do. So, just apply. Now, I don't know why I created that because it's just like a habit. Let's minimize that yet first. I got this. I want it to be down here. Let's minimize that too. Now, one thing I want to do is using a mask, get the photographic face back out by putting black into it and covering up the mask. 
because these special skin tones, I don't care about the hair as much. The more artistic it is, the better it is. So, okay. You always click the slash backslash button to check your quick mask tone and apply, see where your mask applied to. Okay, go back and forth if you want. All right. I want to put this. Sorry. I put this here and put luminosity. See how the background just changes. Let's go back to our choice. See that? That changes it. All right. All right. Let's do one more time. And I think after this, I should be almost finished with this pictures. So what I'm gonna do last time? It's black and white. Oops, black and white. I said. Uh, what did I do last time? They have some preset which is pretty good. I just stick with them. In this case, I need something more. I need noise, but I don't buy this. I actually like that. Okay, let's base with that and pull out the shadow a bit. Bring it to the light and in gray grain. I will do. Let's see how great it is right now. Uh, not too much. Okay, that'll be good. Okay, let's stick with that. Apply. So now I have that. That's okay. I don't need this anymore. So that's just for there for me to you know manipulate better. So I got that. What I'm going to do is to color. Whoops, that's totally my bad. I don't mean that. I mean luminosity. There you go. See how I just increase the contrast of the whole picture the way it is. Okay, so I'm gonna minus that a bit. So from here, this color toning, reconstructs background, black and white. Now a little fine tuning in Photoshop. Minimize that a little bit. And go into black, minus black a bit. Okay. Yeah, a little bit blue and black. Get the gray area, white. I think that looks pretty good. And mainly, I've been working on exposure X2 and step R4 to reconstruct it. And from here, I got this. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll be teaching class in San Francisco semis. I will go deeper into how I use this simple system to create a fine art looking pictures from my original pictures. Alright, until next time, ciao!